Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing probably my uh, most requested video for the last three months, and that is, who will Georgie end up with in Heartland Season 14 between Wyatt and Quinn? Who will she choose to be in a relationship with? That is the number one question I've been getting asked for like the past three months. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving my thoughts and opinions on it. But before I get into that, I just have a couple of quick things to say. One, if you guys could please leave a like on this video, that means so much. Uh, leaving a like on a YouTube video lets me know that you enjoy when I do certain types of videos. So if you guys enjoy when I do uh, Heartland Season 14 updates and theory videos like this, make sure you leave a like and drop a comment. That's the best way to let me know that you enjoy certain types of videos, as I said. And then the next thing I have to say is I have set myself a goal of hitting 20,000 subscribers before the end of 2020. I know that's a huge goal, but hey, we hit uh, 10,000 subscribers before the end of 2019. So I think that if all you Heartland fans out there help me by subscribing to my channel after you watch one of my videos, um, then we can hit 20,000 subscribers before the end of 2020 easily. So, uh, and then to back, uh, just another thing to add on to that, 84% of my audience actually more than that now 89 90 percent of my audience is actually from people who are not subscribed so if you've seen my videos before and you haven't subscribed uh make sure you subscribe because that would help me out so much so if you enjoy heartland and want to see daily heartland videos and updates and want to stay up to date on everything heartland season 14 related then make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh turn on my notifications so you never miss a video and finally the last thing i need to say is that I am not at all affiliated with Harland in any way, shape, or form. I don't claim to be. Uh, my channel is just because I enjoy Heartland, I love talking about it, and Heartland is literally one of my favorite shows that, uh, that I just love. And I enjoy making videos, and I enjoy making videos about things that I enjoy talking about. So, I enjoy talking about Heartland, I make videos about it. Uh, um, nothing I say in any of my videos are confirmed by Heartland cast or crew, unless I show you guys proof that, uh, a Heartland cast or crew member or CBC has, uh, said what I'm saying in the video by, sh uh, sharing a link in the description or in the comment section. So, nothing I say in this video is going to happen in season 14. It is just what I want to see happen and what I think would make the most sense going forward. So, um, now that really long intro out of the way, I'm sorry about that, by the way, but just YouTube stuff. Um, oh, okay, um, uh, I really wasn't going to make this video, actually, to be completely honest with you guys, because I don't like getting involved with the who should date who kind of stuff, because I just personally watch the show, uh, for fun, and I don't really like getting involved in who should date who, because it just... It ends up, like, on social media and stuff, uh, just pinning, like, you have to pick a side. Either you're on Team Quinn or Team Wyatt. I'm on Team whatever makes the storyline progress. So, um, that being said, though, I think going forward as we go into Heartland Season 14, um, I've said before that I am a huge fan of Wyatt and I love his character. I think he's really awesome and it's fun to watch him interact with Georgie and just some of the other uh, characters on Heartland. So I don't want to see his character disappear. However, I don't want to see them do with Georgie what they've done with Lou and that is keep the love triangle between, in Lou's case, uh, Peter and Mitch going for like five seasons because it's literally... It's so dragged out now, I'm just like, please pick who you want to be with and stay with them, thank you. Um, and so if they do that with Georgie, I will be very upset because, A, they're basically doing exactly what they did to Lou, which is a repeated storyline, and B, can you not come up with anything else? Um, I think it'd be super cool to see Wyatt and Georgie still be friends, but I personally think that she should end up with Quinn because, for plenty of reasons, um, I think telling the uh, story in in terms of like how the story progresses in season 14, especially if you want to see uh, more of the flashbacks of Europe and everything, which I think we're going to see, I think it'd be, um, it would make a lot more sense if she was in a relationship with Quinn, especially if they go into 
the relationship that they had in Europe. I don't. <clears throat> I'm like getting over a cold, so if my voice sounds weird, um, that's why. But like, I don't think it it would make sense for them to show the the background of the kids in Europe, but then show her relationship with Quinn, but then for her not to be in the relationship, it wouldn't make sense storyline-wise. Um, and just, you know, they've already, her and Wyatt have obviously tried to be in a relationship, but it didn't work. Um, and just, I just think her and Quinn would make a better couple now. And I think, like, as in terms of telling the story, it would make more sense, especially with the Europe flashbacks, which I think we're going to see more of. Because if we don't, that literally makes no sense as to why she went to Europe. Like, are you not going to show us anything? Uh, but then if they go into, as I said, the relationship with her and Quinn, but then they're not in a relationship in the present time, it, that flashback serves no purpose. Um, and just in terms of the future of Heartland, I think that... There's a lot more story to tell if she was with Quinn, um, and it would just be a lot more interesting to watch, especially um, as we learn a bit more like about Quinn's character, which I, I really hope we end up uh, finding out more about his character and his family and his backstories and stuff, because I think that'd be super cool. And I'm a huge fan when shows uh, really dive into the backstory of a character, you know, a new character. And so I think if they did that with Quinn, it'd be perfect because if he was in a relationship with Georgie, he'd be extremely relevant to the show. Um, but that being said, I don't want Wyatt to just disappear because I hate when shows do that. Um, but personally, I think storyline-wise and just, uh, just overall, I think she's going to end up with Quinn. Uh, at least I hope she does. Uh... As I said, I'm a huge fan of Wyatt's character, but I don't think her, uh, Georgie and Wyatt in a relationship makes sense anymore. But I want them to still be friends, if that makes sense. But I want Georgie and Quinn to be in a relationship. And I think the way they ended season 13, I'm like 80% sure they will end up in a relationship. And I hope it's a relationship that like lasts a while and not is just like on again, off again. Like the Wyatt and Georgie one, because that one was... That was annoying and frustrating to watch at times, but that's just my opinion. I think she's going to end up with Quinn. It makes uh, the most sense storyline-wise and just how everything ended with season 13. Uh, if they didn't end up in a relationship in season 14, Quinn's character, in my opinion, would serve no purpose. And I love his character. Uh, and yeah, I'm a huge fan of how they brought him into the into Heartland and if they don't you uh, get more of it out of his character it's kind of one of those characters well it's like well why did you bring him in the storyline why did you bring him to the show in the first place if he was only going to be there for one season so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below who do you think George is going to end up with uh, why do you think she's going to end up with Wyatt why don't you think she's going to end up with Quinn let me know down in the comment section down below also, if you want to see daily Heartland content, uh, make sure you subscribe and turn on my notifications so you never miss a video. And as I said, I'm trying to hit 20,000 subscribers before the end of 2020. So if you could please uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And leave a like, drop a comment, and share this video with your friends. That'd be awesome. And for those of you that have been subscribed for a while, thank you so much. If you guys could just make sure that you have my notifications turned on because YouTube is being really annoying and not notifying my subscribers whenever I upload a video. And uh, it's really frustrating and really annoying. So if you could please uh, turn on my notifications and subscribe, that'd be awesome. Anyway, I'm sorry for the lack of videos this past week. I have been uh, getting over a cold and I just didn't have the energy to film. So I hope this video makes up for that. And I will see you guys later. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. And I'll see you in the next Heartland update. Bye.